Hello everyone and welcome back to Python lessons on Codecademy. Last time we looked at conditionals and control flow using AND, NOT and OR. Today we will be looking in at conditionals and control flow using IF, ELSE and LA. So let's start. If you want to in a program to branch off, depending on what result you get, you have to use IF, ELF or ELSE. So let's see what our first task requires us to do. Um, so we need to see if you think the print statement will print the, to the console set response equal to y, uh, otherwise set response equal to n. So will this uh, print? So answer is left and we're saying is answer left yes it is so therefore it will enter so it will come in therefore this should be y is it going to print it yes it is so let's move on let's start with our own controls Replace the underline on line 2 with an expression that returns true. What returns true? Well, loads of things return true. You can just say if true. You can also say if 9 equals 9, if 9 equals 3 to the power of 2. Uh, replace the underline on line 6 with an expression that returns true. So, Let's do not false. If you do it successfully, then both success 1 and success 2 are printed. So let's see if they are printed. Yes, success 1 is printed from there, and success 2 is also printed from there. Let's move on. Um, complete the else statement to the right. Note the indentation for each line. Um, if you want to make a flow, then you have to make sure that your indentations are correct. What you should normally use is tab, which leaves uh, four spaces. So, if for example you did something like this, what this is going to give you is an error, because it's going to be expecting something under if. But, and if you do this, it's definitely going to return true. But what you want is to return true under the condition that answer is this but a scratch. Though, same goes for else and ls, which we will look on uh, in this video, but later on. So let's complete the else statement. This needs to return false. And the other statement should also return false. Yes, this is correct. So let's move on. On line 2, fill in the if statement to check if answer is greater than 5. So on line 2, is answer greater than 5? If answer is greater than 5, then it will return 1. 1 is the same as true, usually. Then, elif, which means else, if answer is not bigger than 5, but it's something else, such as uh, answer is less, less than 5, then return minus 1, which usually means error. Else, in any other condition, if either of these aren't met, so for example, if answer is equal to 5, then return 0. 0 usually equals false, but that doesn't really matter uh, in this example. So, as you can see, answer is bigger than 5. Uh, 
if we enter 4, answer is not bigger than 5, it's 4, so it's smaller than 5. Therefore, it will return minus 1, because it enters into here. What it does is, it checks, is answer bigger than 5? No, it's not. So, it skips this line and moves on to Ellie. Is answer smaller than 5? Yes, it is. So, it enters and returns minus 1. It skips this part. Then, we call the same function using 5. Is answer bigger than 5? No, it's not, because it's 5. It's equal to 5. So, it skips this and goes on to is answer smaller than 5? No, it's not. It's equal to 5. So, it skips this line. And else, because neither of those two conditions were met, it returns 0. As you can see, it returned 0. Then, if we enter the function with 6, it goes, is answer small, uh, bigger than 5? Yes, it is. So, it returns 1 and skips all of this. So, let's do a review of this stuff. Um, write an if statement in the flying circus, which will include an if, elif, and else statements, at least one of and or or not, a comparator, these are all of the comparators that you can use, and finally, the flying circus must return true when, when evaluated. Uh, um, it's just giving, telling us that we have to include a uh, colon after our if statement. This also includes after functions, after defining functions, after elif or else statements, such as here. So, let's first of all start off by knowing what we're going to be calling this function with. Print. Let's call it with a number. With seven to seven. I don't know. So we need to include an if, elif, and else. We have an if, we have an elif. So we need to include an else. Um, if you're using an if, you have to put something in. If you after it. If you're using an elif, you have to put something after it as well. But if you're using an else you are not allowed to put anything after it because it will give you an error and else is saying if none of the above is correct then go into this so if I don't know let's say um, something let's call this input just user input simply if user input is bigger than 76 um, return false ls user input is smaller than if I meant to make this 78 smaller than 76 and we can do this or equal to because it's easier in this case then also return false in any other case because we're using an, an integer return true so because we're using 77 it should return true um, should not take in any arguments. Oh, okay. So we don't need to do this part. You can just say 77 in each. Oh, we got to put in return there. Okay. Uh, experiment with this, and you will find out uh, loads of things that you can do with all of this that we have learned in the past uh, two videos and, and this video. So for now, thank you for watching and in the next video we will be moving on with a different topic. So, bye!